Hello everyone, I'm Orkut Loebscher, CEO of CodeTech and co-founder of Court Blockchain. Thanks for tuning in today yet to another Core Chronicle. Today we will be exploring the future of blockchain with a sparkle of fun, because who said tech updates have to be as dry as a day-old toast? So let's dive right into Foxar the MacGyver of blockchain platforms, giving away my age here a little bit. If Foxar were a TV character, it'd be crafting a decentralized network out of a toothpick and a rubber band. With its focus on YLAM, a programming language as specialized as MacGyver's Swiss Army knife, Foxar simplifies smart contract management to the point where even a complex deployment feels like making instant noodles. Quick, easy, yet satisfying. Foxar offers high scalability and robust security features, which are essential as we handle increasingly complex applications. Even though this primarily uh, even though it's primarily focused for developers to build and deploy decentralized applications tailored to diverse industry needs there are also tools for less proficient individuals to ensure that your unicorn dreams with sunshine and rainbows can come to life so deploying a smart contract on foxr is a streamlined affair. Firstly, you script your YLM masterpiece. Then you toss it into our simulation environment, which I might add is a must, really a must. And probably one of the most important steps because test, test, and yes, test some more. I like to think of this environment as a digital jungle gym where your code does some somersaults until it sticks the landing. Of course, the landing needs to be perfect, which is exactly what Foxar offers. Ensuring your smart contract performs as expected under various scenarios and basically mitigating potential risks. From there, using the Foxar wallet, deployment can be facilitated where developers can manage transaction parameters, uh, basically like energy costs and execution limits, basically optimizing both cost and performance. This will ensure that your wallet does not drain as fast as on a Black Friday super duper Uber sale. Now, <laughs> Moving on to our core code AI toolkit. Um, this basically acts as your hyper intelligent sidekick. I like to think of it like having Einstein on speed dial, but instead of explaining E equals MC squared, he's helping you sort out your blockchain equations with significantly less hair pulling. <laughs> This toolkit is designed to fine tune your development process, offering AI driven insights that are sharper than Derek's sense of fashion on casual Fridays. So it's important to remember while AI can work wonders, it's for sure not Derek proof. Always double check its suggestions because like Derek at a dance party, sometimes it gets the steps wrong. We thrive on feedback. Without it, we're like a detective without a mystery. So hit that improve knowledge base button like it's the snooze button basically on a Monday morning. Your insights help us to fine tune core code, ensuring it remains as cutting edge as the latest smartphone 
but hopefully not as less prone to, or hopefully a lot less <laughs> prone to unexpected updates. Let's crank up our geek dials to 11 and dive into the good stuff, really. Because I'm not just here to talk. I'm here to show and tell. Because let's face it, talking about blockchain is like describing fireworks on the radio. It doesn't quite capture the boom. <laughs> so let's dive into it. Right. So show and tell time it is, is it not? Woohoo! So right now what you can see here on my screen is the core blockchain website. So the first thing that we actually want to go and do is we want to actually first develop the smart contract, right? So here you can see there's a new section, pretty sexy, the core code AI. Now, remember I said earlier, improve knowledge base. So hit that when you want to improve it and uh, provide us some feedback and maybe some other ideas or some other things that you might have in mind. But if you want to start so long, then you can go ahead and click on agree and start, which is what I have done right now. And then it will open up the core code AI smart contract platform. So now what I'm going to do is, is I have, of course, you know, to speed things up, I have pre-prepared a little prompt for our smart contract that we're going to develop. So basically, we're going to develop me a smart contract called Eggbird's Eggs in YLAM using CBC20 standard on the core blockchain. The function, a token that can be used to buy eggs from the world-renowned Eggbird farm. I kind of like Egbert. One token can be traded for one egg. The tokens can be recycled into the supply once they have claimed their tokenized RWA, aka the egg. So the total supply will be 1,000. Decimal places will be zero. The name will be Egbert token. And our unit, or let's say ticker, or however you want to refer to it, is egg. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to hit enter here. And immediately, as you can see, it will start to develop our smart contract. So basically, now we just give it some time whilst it's busy developing the smart contract. And it will also give you multiple other uh, instructions. Now, of course, in a later stage, we will... Uh, showcase you how to deploy a smart contract like this once the uh, Foxar platform is actually live. But this is just to showcase you the uh, code, um, the core code AI platform. And what is very important is, is that you can already go and use it on coreblockchain.net. So here you can see some key points. This contract sets uh, the total supply of Egbert token, uh, tokens egg uh, to 1000. So it just gives you a little bit of a summary. Then it tells you deployment. Uh, the contract can be compiled and deployed using the core blockchain development tools. Make sure to test the contract thoroughly on a test net before deploying it to the main net. For actual deployment, you would need to implement additional functions and uh, possibly interact uh, with other contracts or off-chain systems that manage the physical contribution of eggs. Um, so here it actually gives you a few other things. Now, the next thing that we're actually going to showcase you is Foxar. So... Here you can actually see the Foxar website. Now, this website, um, of course, it is not live right now, but as soon as it's live, we will be making the announcement. But this is basically all the documentation. You know, how, well, you've got the introduction here, um, and uh, uh, you've got all the other documentation, like getting started, installation. So it'll give you a full rundown of the installation, your first steps with Foxar, the project. So you can create a new project, working on an existing project, dependencies, project uh, uh, layout, etc. Then here are some very important wordings that you can see here. Spark, probe, shuttle, and pilot. Just to give you a little bit of an explanation of what they are, um, Spark is basically the core testing framework, like Truffle, Hardhat, uh, and DAP tools, basically. 
probe is MacGyver's tool. That's the Swiss Army knife for interacting with CVM smart contracts, sending transactions, and getting chain data itself. Now, Shuttle is the local core node, uh, akin to Ganache or Hot Hat Network or something like that. And then there is Pilot, which is a fast um, utilitarian and verbose YLEM uh, REPL. So here you, we also have configuration, uh, which you can go and have a look at here. You can also, you know, you can uh, test quite a few things. So you can actually go through all the documentation here and set yourself up to get ready to start deploying this. Here you can also see some tutorials that we have, some configuration that you can do. And of course, then there's also appendixes and things like that. And basically, this is extremely exciting for us um, because this allows developers and the network to now start growing and for people to actually start deploying their smart contracts onto the core blockchain to utilize its speed, its scalability, its uh, infrastructure, and most of all, to actually further the development itself. So in my humble opinion, this is exactly what excites me because I cannot wait to see what creative things you are coming up with. In wrapping up, whether you're scripting on Foxar or optimizing with core code, you're part of a bold, innovative community that's pushing the envelope far enough to send it into the next postal zone. Maybe Elon Musk will even permit us to place that billboard on Mars after all. <laughs> we're not just building tools, we're crafting the future of technology with a hint of humor and a whole lot of brains. So thank you all for being the brilliant tech savvy, sometimes quirky pioneers in this journey. Let's keep on innovating, questioning, and yes, even making the occasional MacGyver reference, because sometimes you need to make a helicopter out of some duct tape and a broken fan to see how high we can really fly. Here's to more breakthroughs, more growth, and more aha moments. Cheers to us, to blockchain, and to making the impossible possible. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and see you on the next Core Chronicles.